Hello, this is Colin Sandy from Sandy Audiovisual, and today we are going to unbox the Atomo Samurai Blade. We have our handy box cutter here. Let's see. Uh, maybe I should take this out first. something fun out of here. I haven't ordered anything from Marker Tech in a while, but um, I think they just happened to have this in stock when I was uh, looking to buy one, so Marker Tech it was. Okay. Ooh, peanuts. I can take this out without messing with this so that's what we can. You know what? A couple of things in here. Possibly a catalog. Yep, an architect catalog. Not interested in that. We are interested in this the Atmo Samurai Blade. Okay, now, as some of you know, I'm a big fan of the original Samurai and saw this one at NAB in April and uh, love the extended resolution and the waveform monitor that's built in here and this is a big thing full-size BNC connectors so let's get to cutting Oh, look at this. It's one of those slide out boxes. Okay. I think I promised someone's going to use a tripod for the next one of these. Well, I guess I lied. I was about to. Alright. Here we have a uh, quick start guide, some protective foam, and important, upgrade your firmware for the latest features and compatibility. Now I think at this point that is a, uh, you know, a message that should be inside any of these devices boxes. As soon as you get the thing, you know, even if it comes with a CD, throw that out. Unless, you know, you're somewhere like in, I don't know, on a ship in the middle of the ocean someplace and you want to get this up and running and can't download it, perhaps. But other than that, if you have zero internet connectivity, don't bother with whatever software they have in the box. Download the latest and you will save yourself many hours, a lot of headache. So here it is, again, full-size BNC connectors, still has the uh, LAN C jack here, or LANC, um, audio in, audio out. Uses the same caddy as the Blade, or sorry, as the Samurai and the, uh, the Ninja 1 and 2. Same uh, battery connectors, uh, Sony L-Series type on the back. Um, now, what you may or may not have noticed at this point is that no pelican like case here uh, for the samurai blade if you want one of those you have to buy it separately um, I'll probably buy a genuine pelican and uh, just get cutouts but um, you know in a pelican case that I have my uh, Atomos Connect converters I actually use, reuse this foam that's in here because the foam is really good and of course it's already cut out so all you need to do is if you have pick and pluck foam just cut out a square for this plop this, it's already cut for you in the middle 
and you have a form cut foam insert for your devices. I pause here because I said, is this really a, yeah, it's a, uh, as you can see, a D-tap adapter that came with it. That's very handy. And a uh, standard, this is probably a smaller type, yeah, uh, 2600 milliamp hours uh, L battery. Let's see what goodies are under the phone. Oh. Looky here. That kind of reminds me of the, um, uh, what do you call it, the Seagate GoFlex type caddies. Actually, it's very similar to them. So you have a uh, SATA port here. And I see USB 2 for power. And the blue here, you'll see USB 3 for data connectivity. So a USB 3 caddy. Um, it's very nice. You can see it's a, a you know, less expensive design than uh, what came with the blade and the... Uh, I keep saying the blade. just got it stuck in my head because of course we're reviewing the blade, but with the original Samurai and Ninja 1 and 2. But I'm sure it works well nonetheless. And of course missing from this iteration is the firewire connectivity, which, uh, you know, I have a, I think, late 2011 MacBook, so um, this will not be as useful to me because it doesn't have USB 3.0, but for those who have brand new devices, this will be just fine. And of course, you can always use your original caddies if you got them. Okay. Spare caddy here. Now it's an empty one. You can put your 2.5 inch SSD or um, HDD in this caddy. Okay. Uh, 9 volt battery adapter. That's not too exciting. I'll open it here off screen. Oh. I stand corrected. That's great. So we have a uh, L-series type uh, adapter here to a um, wall wart, of course a universal wall wart here, so it can uh, be good for Europe, Asia, Australia, the United States, United Kingdom. Uh, battery charger, no doubt, get another L-series battery charger. And if you're like me and have kept all of your old Sony gear, you know, undoubtedly have many of these. And um, this is the same type that came with the the Ninja 2, and they work very well. The batteries snap in well. The ones that came with the original Samurai were um, not that great, but um, these work extremely well. Okay, what else do we have here in the box? Oh, a mystery section. All right. So this is just um, a uh, placard. It doesn't do anything. Oh, this is great. Another spare caddy. Marvelous. And we have here, uh, this looks like a LAN C or LANC. Uh, pass-through cable, so you can uh, stick one end in the device here and I uh, guess you use these as a, a pass-through if you want to uh, um, trigger some other device remote control some other device as well. That's a really handy cable. Alright, so here you have it. The unboxing of the new Samurai Blade. Again, my favorite feature. No more looking around for um, custom-made mini BNC to BNC uh, adapters. So in the next video we will take a look at um, what this puppy looks like when it's been fired up.